I've uh, I've uh, finished cleaning it up and uh, screwing it back together. Um, after my friend uh, Paul came round and helped me uh, connect it back up, because it's a bit of it's a bit difficult holding the the top of the uh, you know the the lid up while you're trying to connect things and put bolts back through the side of the uh, casing of the transformer. But uh, my friend um, Paul came round and helped me with that. Good old fish. So I'm going to power this up and just uh, see what it's show you what it's like ballasted and unballasted at around 100 volts. So here we go. So, it's running a bit better, isn't it? Not bad at all. See, this this would run all day. Um, you know, ballasted, should I say? It'll run all day like that. Um, I could keep that uh, pumping it at volt, you know, at uh, full voltage, at limited current, to uh, 400 watts or 800 watts, and uh, you know, it it it'd run like that all day. But uh, you have to, uh, you do have to, uh, you know, at the end of the day, give these things a good ballast at the end of the day to uh, limit the current because you, you don't want to uh, flash your windings because these x ray transformers are they're meant for a little bit of use without um, a ballast. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, these x ray transformers they are meant to, uh, for a split, like zero, zero point frigging two of a second or something like that of usage. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it's all right for uh, using it just like I would did. Um, you know, it's 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 nice and vacuumed now, and it's running a lot better than what it did. Uh, I'm going to strip that other uh, transformer down and uh, just check it out, make sure that it's all right and that, and then uh, build some sort of new box for it and have that one running as well. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, hope you like that video. Look after yourselves. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak again.